Hey guys, welcome back to Life on the Eddie Family Farm. Well, today is a new day and it's kind of misty feeling. Um, it feels really good actually. Um, it's going to be a beautiful day. It showed, like a couple days ago, it was showed that it was supposed to rain a bunch today. And then now it shows there was like very little rain. And that's, hopefully this is all we get is this mist. Um, Cause I got a lot to do today. But besides today, it's supposed to rain like the rest of the weekend, like two or three days. Hey now, I know you want pet. Yeah, y'all are sweet dogs. Where's your baby, huh? Don't be getting me all muddy. Where's your baby? Is she out roaming around? Huh? But, um, anyways, we did end up, Brandon got the goats in, and, like, in this main pen, like this pen where the dogs are and everything, and um, can we figure since they're out and about and the babies are running with them mostly, they're, it's fine for them to be out here. They don't need that one-on-one -on -one protection. What are you doing? Huh? Are you looking for your other baby? Yeah. So I'm guessing her other baby is one with the other goats or she may be back here. Not really 100% sure. But, um, so we've got all the goats in here. And then somehow, um, somehow they got out. They went through the mama pen. And I think, well, I think what the problem is, let me show you. I think this right here is the problem is we have strands. Right now it's not on, but we have three strands besides this length right here. So these goats, they, we need another T post here too, but they kind of climb this and jump over and just go out the front gate. We need to probably just keep that door shut, but, but we left it open because they, if it rains or whatever, they can get into the barn. So I don't really know seen if the ponies were in there but they're not let's go let's go find the ponies and see how many goats are actually left in here I know there was three babies when I first got in here so that's who's crying back there and um, we'll see how many is actually in here and then we're gonna go ahead and put them back in here today so that they just keep getting out y'all seen where they got out over here on this um, southern side they got out over there on that like north west side and um, they're just they don't want to stay here I guess the grass is always greener on the other side but we're gonna walk through here and see how many is actually here and then get a glimpse of my baby ponies so first we're gonna stop up here okay there's no goats on the other side Hi, cutie pies. So right here we have the black one is Cinnamon's baby. The uh, tricolor one right there in the middle, she is one of the Kikos. And then this one, I think this one is probably that black mama's goat baby. Because she is one mama that stays with her babies at all times, even when the goats are roaming. Either those babies are with her or she's staying down here. And that's what she's doing right here. So um, I will actually try to point her in the right direction and maybe get her out. All I have to do is top her over into the mama pen and then she can get out. So I don't think I'm going to be able to, but we're going to try. Toby, you're running them the wrong way. Toby, Toby. Oh, there's little little Ann right there. <laughs> Alright. Come here, little goats. Come here. Hey little goats. Come here. 
Yeah, I'm not going to be chasing them. They're not even interested in coming this way. Lillian, what are you doing over here? Usually you're with mom and dad. You need your alone time. I feel you. When I was their age, or when I was a kid, I needed my alone time also away from mama, daddy, and um, siblings. I'm sure that's how the kids are too. That's why they get their alone time. All right, which way do you think the ponies are? I don't want to walk all the way around and then have the wrong way. You know what? They might have got out right here. Look, you can get in there. And then right through here. That might have been how they got out. Toby, get back over here. Toby. Toby! Come here. Come here. And, and Dixie. I didn't play that. So, yep, that's exactly how they got out. Because the mama pin. So... I am going to run back this way. I'm going to keep that open so they can get out. But I'm going to run back this way and get them. And I have a feeling if the ponies were anywhere close, they that's how, exactly how they did it. They probably got out as well. So I may need Brandon's help. Probably not. They'll probably come to feed but I may get his help to get them back in. They're following, so I'm trying to hurry. We opened that pin up yesterday. I'm just gonna go ahead and lock this. We opened that pin up yesterday because we thought we heard um, Moonspot having a baby but actually it was one of the, it was Star, one of the goats. Um, she was stuck in the fence. So, all right, at least they can't get out now. I'm going to try and debate on if I want to go ahead and walk this to make sure the ponies are in or out or just go ahead and go find all of them. I'm pretty sure they would be up a little bit closer. I'm just gonna go grab Brayden and see if I can get some help getting them back in. Okay, so I figured I would actually go and try to find them before I call in for reinforcements. And I'm glad I did, because they wasn't out way back where I thought they might be with the goats. Um, they were right here. So we got two right here, and then you can see the goats are actually right in all this brush pile. But then, if you look we're kind of past that tree, there's Milky Way. So they are actually all still in here. And I'm gonna let them graze um, today because, you know, the goats get out just about every day. Um, but the ponies stay in and then not every day, but every so often we let them out to graze and stuff. But I think that's good for them to eat some of this grass down because it's time to start mowing lawns. And who needs a lawn mower when you got when you got ponies? And ponies eat more than the goats do, I think. Hey, Stevie. Hey, what are you doing, Stevie? Hi, baby. Is that some good grass? Yeah, there's some good grass. Look at all them curls. I just love her color. It's almost like a caramel. You got your dark chocolate and or kind of light, I mean medium, and then you got your light chocolate. Just beautiful. Hi. That off you. Beautiful girl. Beautiful girl. Juliet, how are you doing? Huh? How are you doing? You doing good too? Yeah. 
she's got like a tricolor going on. She's got some white in the face, some brown, and some light brown back there. You like that? You like that stuff? Is it good? Huh? Huh, sugar mama? Yeah? That's a good girl. Good girl. She is so wide. I wonder if she is actually pregnant. That may be something I talked to Brandon about, maybe getting her preg checked. Just not knowing is so crazy, especially with ponies. Ponies take, what, 11 to 12 months, and you just never know. I hear that goat. But... Anyway, let's go find the goats before they get out that back, that back side. Looks like they've left from here and they moved down. Milky Way! She's like, nope, I'm gone. All right, we'll make it down to the goats. So we are working on actually getting panels just like we have around we have it around that whole side of the property and then most of the front side of the property but we just have um bob wire on this back side we don't actually have the panels and that's what we are working on that was our next bigger purchase was paneling because we want to get that all paneled up and then we want eventually the whole property to be panels because we let our goats and ponies and everything roam every so often especially more in the summertime because there's more grass for them to eat and everything but we just we haven't got to that part yet we haven't actually filled the need to like right now get panels but it since they're starting to get out more we're gonna have to get them but look at that beautiful fence that we put up beautiful it's already starting to that was new fencing and that's already starting to get brown but look at all these mamas and babies moon spot still Still hanging on back there. <laughs> any day, any day. It'll be a day that we're gone or something like that. I don't see many babies out here, but then again, there is babies. They're just growing up on me. They're getting big. Y'all loving this grass? Huh? Y'all loving this grass? Hey girls! There's a lot of the babies back there in that little brush pile. Hi! Yeah, a lot of the babies are down here too. Look at y'all. Okay, I was wondering if all y'all babies were somewhere else, but now I see where y'all are. Getting all them little bitty leaves off the trees. Hi guys! This used to be Layton's little trap. You can see right here, this is where he had a trap. But it's not here anymore. It's just the metal piece. Then you got some more up here. Hi. This is the newest one. Look how big she's getting. Running with the rest of them. <laughs> All right, now we will, we're gonna make our way back up here to the llamas and the ponies that are out. 
because we got a surprise. Something that they've needed for a while. We're not completely done, but we needed it because it's starting to get warm. Today it's nice. Like I probably wouldn't be able to be wearing shorts right now because I would be a little bit chilly, but it's nice. All right. We got the ponies coming down here and the males are looking all excited. Hey, Stevie. How are you doing? You just wanted some loving, huh? You needed some loving? I love that little girl. She's so stinking cute. But if you look right up here, you can see how much they've actually ate. You see this? <sighs> but look at these two right here. They got shaved. We want to get the baby and do her. And then also, honey has not been done. So we're going to... We're, we still have to get them done, but it's a work in progress. It really is. Hi, ponies. Come here. Come here. Yeah, come here. Come here. She's like, I am not, but she's a little meanie pants. Come here, Hershey. <laughs> that Romeo, that's a good boy. Yeah, that's a good boy. Come here, Hershey. You know, they're looking at me because I'm right here by this hot wire and I'm pretty sure one of them probably got shocked they kind of know what the hot wire is. So I'm gonna go down here and actually step on it where it can ground out. It's way too high back here, which I mentioned on my last video, but I'm gonna go up here and step on it and get in here. And on my walk back down, you can kind of see right here that there's still been no progress. Now, the end, like, it's almost time to actually go to this meeting and pick out all of our color samples and everything. I'll let y'all know more about that in maybe a couple videos, but I'm super excited. I don't know what's gonna happen there. I don't know if they're gonna have a computer set up where we kinda design it by computer or if it's just like papers. I'm gonna have to see it though. Like I think there's five different kinds of brick um, that you can choose from. And I'm gonna wanna see five different kinds of houses. I don't know, it just, that's, I'm a visual learner and I believe I'm probably gonna want the darkest color. I know that I don't really like the light pinkish colors. Some people do, but that's not my preference, um, but I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work. And I'm, I'm kind of excited. I'm really, really excited. All right. So I'm going to ground these out by stepping on them like that. And then going back up here. You can tell they've ate so much of this grass already. It's unreal. This dirt pile. So right now that's all that's out is the llamas, the ponies, because we decided to leave the bigger donkeys in the middle pen for right now, just because when the little donkeys do get out, we don't want to have to put up all, leave one whole thing. We don't want to leave all the llamas in one pen. Um, when we have to, if they're with the big donkeys. 
So that's why we decided to go ahead and we moved the bigger donkeys to the middle pin, one of the middle pins, because we have four. And then we put the llamas in the far pin, we got the ponies, and then the little donkeys. So we just kind of closed it off so that we have four instead of three. Hi. Hi, Princess Layla. How are you, sis? What are you doing? You gonna come up close? Hi, sister. How are you? Whoo! About gave me a heart attack. What are you doing? Huh? You about gave me a heart attack. Was that badger coming up behind you? Let's try this again. Look how beautiful she is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she, oh. oh my gosh, my heart is pounding right now. Hi, Socks. Hi, Mama. Honey, you didn't have to get up. Hi, baby. I'll reach this camera out here so maybe she'll come up closer. Hi, boys and girls. Hi, Romeo. Are y'all making nice now? Huh? Hi. What was your name? Are you Apple Pie? I think that was your name. Hi. Hi, Romeo. Yeah, you get confused for Milky Way. Even the kids. We got Twix. Oh, you want all the camera time? Huh? You want all that camera time? What about Hershey? Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Princess Layla. Beautiful. Y'all are some beautiful animals, you know that? Beautiful. Isn't that a sight right there? It's beautiful. I love it. All the goats in the background, and then you got all the ponies and llamas back there. I'm in love with this lifestyle we have created. Even if they scare me to time to time. But anyways, like I mentioned earlier, I have a lot to do today. Not only does Brandon get to do a lot during the day, I have a lot. So I'm going to call it here. And I hope you guys enjoyed this walk around. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up, turn notification bell on, and subscribe. God bless.